Wow, it has been so long since I've done a video like this. I don't even know how to do it. This is so weird. So, hi guys. Uh, Kimberly Cherry here. And um, this probably sounds weird. It definitely looks weird. We haven't done something like this in so long. I don't know how to do it anymore. Uh, so, I've been talking for a hot minute about... Uh, doing a video where I take the flashing off of my chaos pieces and it has come to my attention that this is not feasible. <laughs> so to compromise what we're going to look at today is some calico girls. We got some armses and a spineses. M Mia is Mirai is too long. She is too long. She had very long girl. Let's see. Arm and arm and footsie and footsie and port. That goes in the doll. Right. Okay, so now since we're doing calico girls, I've got two different frames here and I want to mix the frames up too. Uh, uh, because while you won't be able to see the actual frames, we will be able to see the joints, of course. So, today we're just going to do some, some mixing and matching. So, let's see, we're going to put the cocoa pelvis back in here and we're going to take, okay, yeah, how do I want to do this? This is going to be, I must have organization. The milk hips back in here. And let's do one of these here and one of these here. And then the same the cocoa. I think these are, hmm, you know, let's pay attention. Are these marked right and left? Are these identical? I think they're identical. We may find out at a later date that they're not, but for now, let's just pretend like they are. And let's see, one arm here. And it don't, again, I think these are all the same. One arm here. And one arm, hello. One arm here. One arm here. Can you guys tell how awkward this is? Okay, and then one foot, two foot. Oh, now these are marked. So I want a, a, a left and a left. And a right and a right. Okay. So, okay. Now we have properly mixed up calico frames for these girls. Now then, let's pull them out and see what flashing we need to remove to get them ready for assemblage. We'll just start with one at a time. These bags are so noisy. Uh, you know, I don't know if there's any, any, I don't think there's any flashing that needs to be cut off of this girl. But let's dump her out and let's see. Whee! Um, no, I don't think so. Um, where's the rest of her? <laughs> let's see. Oh, look, some flashing that needs to be removed. Okay, so there's a piece. Okay, yeah, and see, she definitely has flashing that needs and okay yeah I don't know how that happened still missing what am I missing I'm missing a forearm some of this has like the flashing partially removed so we're gonna go ahead and finish that up and yeah some of it just needs to be reheated and reformed so this is all that needs the flashing removed really all right uh, let's see we still need one more forearm what did I do with them? Here they are. I guess we need the other cocoa forearm, really. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let's clean up some space. I got a couple of these chaos pieces that need to be reheated, and I hope that they come back into shape. I think they should. I will, we will find out together. Okay, so I think that's all the pieces we need to work on. Yes. Yes. Okay. So just uh, for my sanity, we're going to, 
I'm, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to do some fast forwarding and some serious heavy editing when I go to cut the flashing off of the stuff. So we're going to save that to last. And that, we, uh, what this is, is a, a hair bonnet, air dryer, hair dryer, hair bonnet thingy. And this is what I use uh, to heat up these pieces. But let's see how she looks. Oh, it's hot. Did I come back? I mean, it sure did not. It's also not at all warm. So let's throw it back in there. And let's try some placement. There you go. Hopefully get that bus right there where the hot air is. Uh, and this is very, very hot. If you try to do this at home, please use caution. Very, very, very hot. Hot, hot, hot. Um, it looks like it may be trying to come back into shape. Maybe? What you think? Oh yeah, it's definitely coming back into shape. So, okay, I will put that aside and we will, I'll try to do that later. Try to reform that bus. It looks like it should come back. Uh, let's try doing this leg. Yeah, you know, it just occurred to me, since it's just this one spot, this might would be easier to just blow it dry. Well, that looks much better. That was kind of crazy. Okay, well, good. Yay. Okay, now, for to which I go cut these words are hard. This stuff definitely needs to be heated before you can go cutting on it with your exacti knife. And it has been my experience that uh, you usually have to do this through a, a couple of heat cycles, especially some of this vinyl is older and more, I'm gonna go with the word dense. I don't know if that's quite the right word, dense. But it's just hard, it's harder, thicker plastic. Again, I apologize that these that this video is so off-centered. Now, depending upon you know how how much of a perfectionist you are, um, like these edges here are kind of rounded, and you could go and clean those up. I don't care. It's on the inside of the doll. We're not going to be able to see it for my purposes. That's just fine. Yeah, all right, throw it all back in. Can you see why I didn't want to do a whole video like this? Of nothing but me heating it up, cutting on it, heating it up, cutting on it, heating it up, cutting on it. That would be mind-numbingly tedious. Ow! And that's a better. I'd also like to give you guys a closer view. Although, I mean, all I'm doing is just cutting on the, around the edge. It's kind of like coloring in the lines. I mean, there's lines here. I don't know if you can see that. And this thing is hard as a rock. Hard as a rock. Okay, let's, 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 since it's just this one piece, let's do these. What's up? That? What's what? What's it's a hair bonnet. You put it on here and then you put that over your head. If you have like a head full of curlers. Oh. Let's see. I want to get a little closer so you guys can see here. Very, very slow. Very slow. This light is just terrible. It's 
Terrible, terrible, terrible. Let's see if we're gonna leave that there. Careful, careful, careful. Careful, careful, careful. It's trying to shift since we made that other cut. Accident. Being very careful. All right, just the bottom now. And there we go. Hey, I can dig it. And like I said, you, you could always go back and clean up these lines, but I'm not going to. All right, uh, that just leaves with, why is this here? Oh, right, because we heated that up. <laughs> uh, that leaves with this piece. And this, I was gonna go ahead and do two. Hello. Okay, we're just gonna do the same thing here. We're just going to cut very, very carefully on the seams. And you may or may not be able to tell it's already cooling off. So this particular piece, nice and big, it's gonna require several trips into the big fluffy purple thing. I want to call it a spa, but it's not a spa. Mm, a fine example of why I'm not trying to do all of this flashing in one video, because my camera does not like me. It likes to just cut off in the middle of my filming. Luckily, it didn't really matter. Okay, now this is kind of hot. Owie, owie, owie. I've also got some nifty little white gloves that I bought to do this with that you can see I'm not wearing. Okay. Oh, especially with this last edge. I don't want the vinyl to jump. There we go. And into my flashing bucket. So, okay. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to take a little Dremel and clean these edges up in a little bit. But for the meantime, let's continue. start it was she's hot she's hot she's hot okay and I'm I want to be very careful of the angles here since the the vinyl comes back in this way I want to be very careful with how I'm cutting so I don't want to go very deep at all and I'm having to use a little more force because this is a very thick let's see how thick that is there or you could if it would focus but you know you know. Back in she goes. I'm trying to be very careful. I wonder if any of this is in focus. It's so funny this is the last little piece that doesn't want to come out. Oof. Hey, there we go. There's one side into the flashing bucket. Ah, one more side. It looks like this is all the flashing you guys gonna get because my camera's being ugly. Mm. Ooh, got that right spot that time, dang. Oh, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot, holy moly. Now I need my gloves. Seriously, if you are going to attempt to do this stuff for yourself, be careful. And not just with the sharp knife. Woo, fire, 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 holy moly. Seriously, let it cool off. How does this look? Better, better. Much better. It's still a little wonky. But better. Okay, back to it, back to it. 
careful, careful, easy. That's another thing you need to be careful about with these things. They lose structure, of course, the more plastic you cut off of them. Yeah, more vinyl you cut out. Come on. I may have to put this back in there one more time. My camera is most, most, most unhappy. So I'm going to show you the finished little piece here. Uh, like I said, I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna go and, and sand this stuff down with a Dremel or not. So I'm going to just, uh, just say goodbye before my camera cuts off again. Um, and so yeah, now you guys have seen me cut off some of the, some of the flashing on these girls and uh, hopefully the next time you see them, they'll be all put together. <gasps> I'm so excited. So I may be doing like a reveal. Thumbs up if you guys want to see a reveal of these two calico girls. Hope you guys are doing well and uh, like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Man, I haven't done that in so long. Bye. <laughs> I did want to say too, if I make that vinyl cutting look easy well there's a reason for that it's not my first time doing vinyl mods